Hear the word of the Lord. We're in Leviticus chapter 17, verse 10. And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, that's a complete thought, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood and will cut him off from among his people. For the life of the flesh is in the blood and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh atonement for the soul. Therefore, I said unto the children of Israel, no soul of you shall eat blood, neither shall any stranger that sojourneth among you eat blood. Check this out. All right, so it's now brain dead. Yep. So the next thing we want to do is bleed it. Now, the reason right. we bleed a fish is basically it's a very rich flavour if you leave all the blood in. So the more blood you can get out, the better. And we want to do it from the arteries along the lateral line here. Now, we just a little flick in there. There, look at that. Now, people go, oh my God, look, that's the heart. This fish has been brain dead for a couple of minutes. That is the heart pumping the blood out of this tuna. The more blood you can get out of this fish, the better it's gonna taste. If you're gonna take a southern bluefin tuna, it is one of the best eating fish in the ocean. You wanna make sure it is absolutely pristine and that's the way you do it. Okay, so the thing to note, it's only a really short knife. We're not actually trying to cut in to get to the heart. The artery sits up on the surface and if you're using the short knife or a short incision, you're not damaging as much of the meat as if you're trying to dig in and cut deeply. There you go. Here's an example of them bleeding out a tuna. If you fish, catch trout or any other smaller fish, you cut behind the gills, in between the gills, the artery, and the heart will keep pumping and all the blood will be bled out of the fish. So there you go. Thou shall eat no blood. Shalom.